cellos, put your bow on the A, and we're going to practice slurring from A to D string. And I know that sounds weird, but what I want you to do is I want you to bring your bow closer to the D string level while you're playing the A so that the slur can be more smooth. And your bow actually switches strings and it creates a curved line instead of the edge of a stop sign. And then change and go back. And have your bow closer to the string that you are slurring to. Now go A, D in a slur, A, D. So you have to switch and do that on an up bow. So the smaller motion to change strings, the smoother slur you'll have. Now look at measure 60 in Phantom of the Opera. This is what we want to do right there. To create as smooth a slur as possible. Let's try playing right at measure 60 together for two measures. Three, four. Remember, while playing on the A string, think about bringing that bow closer to the D string already. Three, four. Now let's try playing from 60 to the end of 65 and think about this new concept while slurring. One, two, three, four. Closer to D string. One, two. One, two. Let's do that again. Two, Cellos, let's check out the notes in measure 72. So you have a B flat, A, G slur, to F natural, to separate bones. And then hopefully you can try vibrating a little bit on that first finger. One, let's play it together at 72. Three, four, and. Vibrate. Time. Remember to pull back that B flat. Check if it's halfway back. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's start at measure 70 and play to the end of measure 75. So this first note at 70 is just a regular fourth finger. It would have been an extension, but they canceled the sharp. Here we are at measure 70. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. will be a natural pulling back of the speed. Let's do it again at 70. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two,
look at the rhythm on the board and the bow directions. We're just going to use A string for this. So it's rest, up, down, up, rest, up again. If you run out of bow, you might have to do a mini bow, like a backwards bow lift to do that next up bow after the rest. Otherwise, between this up bow and this up bow, you can kind of treat it like a hooked bow with a rest in the middle. So it's, I'll demonstrate. Rest, up, down, up, rest, hook. So always start up bow after the rest. Now look at measure 78. And we have this several times in a row. So it's C natural, rest, up, down, up, rest, up, down, up, rest. Let's try 78 together. Three and four and rest. 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 So all of those are up bows after every single rest. Let's try this at 78 again, and we're gonna play all the way down to 86 or 85. Here we are at 78. Remember, every single time we come back in, it's an up bow. Three and four and rest. Up. 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 Normal here. 